ஹாய் ஒரி வன் வெல்கம் டு அவர் மரை நாலேஜ் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் அவர் சைலர் வாஷா ஸோ அகெயின் திஸ் டைம் ஆல்சோ தெர் இஸ் ஒன் டெக்னிக்கல் வீடியோ ரிலேட்டட் டு ஜென்ரேட்டர் மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வுட் லைக் டு ஷோ யூ ஹவு டு அட்ஜஸ்ட் டேப்பட் கிளியரன்ஸ் ஃபார் மேன் பிஎம்டபிள்யூ ஜென்ரேட்டர்ஸ் ஸோ எவ்ரி ஜென்ரேட்டர்ஸ் ஹேஸ் தர் ஓன் மெத்தட் மேக்கர்ஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் டு கேரி அவுட் டேப்பட் அட்ஜஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் ஜென்ரேட்டர் ஆல்சோ ஹாவ் த சேம் வே யுவர் பேசிக் ஐடியா டு டூ த டேப்பட் கிளியரன்ஸ் அட்ஜஸ்ட் டேப்பட் கிளியரன்ஸ் வில் பி சேம் பட் ஒன்லி த மெத்தட் டிஃபர்ஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் ஜென்ரேட்டர்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேல்யூ ஃபார் போத் எக்ஸாஸ்ட் அண்ட் இன்லெட் சம் ஜென்ரேட்டர்ஸ் ஹாவ் சேம் வேல்யூ ஆஃப் ஃபில்லர் கேஜ் விச் யூ யூஸ் ஃபார் அட்ஜஸ்டிங் ஸோ ஆஸ் யூஷுவல் யூ ஆல்வேஸ் டேக் சேஃப்டி மெஷர்ஸ் stop the generator stop the stop card do not start and stop your lube oil uh, priming pump engage uh, turning gear if it is there remove from remote and put in local and just close the starting gear in case of accidentally someone press it should not start and uh, mainly what you need to do is you have to be very clear of what you are going to do so first you try to see the manual read it and understand it and then do this kind of adjustment job this video will help you to understand the manual manual instructions in a practical way we'll go inside the video so now uh, we are going to adjust a tapet for this unit you can see the cam for fuel pump is about to peak so this is how you identify you confirm this unit is going to fire you can see three cams one is inlet outlet and the corner one is a fuel pump cam and accordingly then you have to go to the flywheel and see the flywheel marking and find out which are on the unit or in tdc here it is 1 and 8 and i had confirmed that number 8 fuel pump cam is in peak so now i'm going to adjust the tapet for this particular unit so first what you need to do is you have to loosen the loosen the lock nut lock nut of adjusting screw for uh, valve bridge and rocker arm so okay i am just uh, i am just seeing the push rod push rod to ensure both the, the inlet valve and exhaust valve are being closed so that is the first requirement so uh, this is one adjustment screw that is between the valve bridge and valve spindle so this is the adjustment this is the lock nut which i am going to loosen this is for the valve bridge and rocker arm and this one which i am doing now is for valve bridge on valve spindle so what we do is we both loosen the lock nut of both the adjusting screw so both are loose you can see both side are loosened and now what i do is i keep the feeler gauge above the valve you can see the valve spindle is visible and just all you need to do is you have to loosen the adjusting screw of valve bridge and rocker arm and just keep the feeler gauge above the valve spindle so that is what i kept the i'm i'm not able to fix it so somehow i managed to fix so if you you feel so much tight you have to loosen the adjustment screw of valve this one this is the adjustment screw you just loosen it you can easily put the feeler gauge and once the feeler gauge is okay then you have to tighten it so that is how you have to do so now i am tightening it after keeping the feeler gauge in place all over the time this feeler gauge should be there only i can see you can see the uh, feeler gauge is moving easily and what i do is if it is going more easily what i do i little bit tighten the adjustment screw if i tighten some more what happens is and the movement will be little bit reduced so you can see the feeler gauge is in place 
and now what I do is I again take one more filler cage and you can see the size of the filler cage is 0.9 something you do the same thing for the next next wall spindle so here for this you have to straight away adjust the adjustment screw in the top just open it when you open you can easily let the filler gauge to go inside and once you fix the filler gauge in place what you need to do is you have to ensure the filler gauge is not so loose or so tight so that is how you have to manage so the, the both the filler gauge are in place now once i'm done with it so i will hold the adjusting screw with the help of screwdriver and i tighten the lock nut so you can see uh, adjust this the nut is the lock nut and uh, the screwdriver screw which i'm holding is called the adjusting screw you keep holding the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut so this is how you have to do the tap at adjustment for this engine so i i think you must have understand that but again i will show you one more time so sometime we face a problem like when you hold the adjustment screw with the help of screwdriver sometime you may you may uh, get problem like uh, you may not able to hold the adjusting screw in place while tightening the lock nut it may tight some more so this is what happened now so what i do is i again hold the adjusting screw and i was adjusting the tappet again so now keeping back the lock nut in place and i am loosening the adjusting screw so again i am going to hold it and yeah i hold it i keep it keep the filler gauge in place make sure the filler gauge is not so tight or so loose and holding the adjusting screw i tight the lock nut yeah that's all so uh, idea is you should not be so tight or it should not be so loose it has to move in a little bit harder way not in a very soft way so both are done i think this two are for exhaust side and uh, okay once that is done so i am keeping both the feeler gauge in place i have to tighten the adjusting screw between valve bridge and rocker arm so again same thing hold the screw i think uh, again i had little bit uh, closed the uh, close the adjusting screw so if it is okay i am trying again whether it is okay or not yeah i think it is okay both the sides are uh, okay <sighs> okay this uh, adjusting adjustment of tapper clearance should be done very carefully and for each and every engine there will be different type of different uh, way of adjustment so you have to watch the manual see the manual properly and then you do the adjustment of tappet clearance so i had tightened the screw for valve bridge and rocker arm i had checked this also both are okay so now i removed the filler cage so again i just cross check whether it is okay or not it is uh, perfectly all right so now i go to the uh, exhaust side same ja, first open the lock nut of adjusting screw for valve bridge and rocker arm now i had opened second you open the lock nut for the adjusting screw between valve bridge and valve spindle so choose the correct filler gauge given by the maker and first what you need to do is you have to go for the inner side so keep the filler gauge anything inner or outside no issues first keep the filler gauge above the spindle valve spindle and with the help of your uh, screwdriver keep the adjust adjust the filler gauge and uh, you go for the 
other side do the same what I did before keep the feeler gauge above the spindle and for adjusting that one you have to ensure you are loosening the adjusting screw for valve bridge and rocker arm if you loosen this here you will get very easy go and if you tight you will get a little go for filler gauge in a little obstruct way so fine so i'm trying to do it so for this kind of engine it is little bit uh, what do you say different way yanmar it is different uh, in this kind of engine it is different so but everything dip, your idea will be same it is basically the clearance between your valve spindle and the bridge that's it so uh, first thing i had completed i had tightened it and i will keep the feeler gauge in place only then i go for the next one so next one next feeler gauge i'm going to keep so, yeah this is the next one so go for this again do the same for this adjusting this particular side you have to use the adjustment screw between the valve bridge and valve spindle so i just uh, loosen the lock nut and adjusting screw i have to open or close to get the proper adjustment of tappet so little i am done with it so now i am holding the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut for the adjustment screw so uh, yes i was done i i didn't disturb the adjusting screw so i think uh, uh, i'm okay with it i yeah i think it is little more looser so what i do is uh, again i loosen the lock nut and uh, little bit clockwise close the adjustment screw so that uh, the feeler gauge will be little more obstructive so okay done okay i'm okay with it now what i need to do is i have to hold the adjusting screw with the help of screwdriver and uh, tighten the lock nut okay okay fine i am done with this so uh, for this unit you need to do with two different range of filler gauge sizes for this particular engines exhaust valve have different uh, size and inlet valve has different size so uh, basically what we need to do is we have to follow the makers instruction read the makers instruction try to understand what they want us to do to take the to adjust the tapper clearance accordingly do it okay so i am checking the final uh, after taking the clearance i am checking the uh, tapper clearance one more time i found everything is fine uh, okay that's all there is nothing much uh, these are uh, these are very basic maintenance that you need to do for a generator uh, when some generators have uh, hours hourly like every thousand hour or every three thousand you have to do some have uh, based on the months whether you write you do or not you just need to follow the makers maintenance interval always okay i believe this video must have given you some information about how to take adjust tapper clearance for generators thank you thank you all thanks for watching keep supporting